Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna fix some jeans. So I got myself a pair of jeans and they're barely worn. As you can see, nothing on the bottoms. Cuffs still look good. Everything looks great. But oh, what's that? No button. Makes it really hard to wear jeans, no button. First thing I wanna say is this works whether or not the button has been completely pulled through like this, or if the button has just lost the top part of the button, which I've seen happen on jeans all the time. First thing you wanna do is pop out the, the little piece that is left in there, and you'll be left with something that looks like this. Now what you wanna do is you wanna sew that up a little bit so that it doesn't continue to tear. So what you want to do is get a needle, get some thread, tie a little knot at the end, find the hole, sew it up. Just in and out, in and out. And I like to, on my first one, go back on through so it can't pull through, and then just in and out, in and out, in and out. All right. So now, I'll take out these guys. And these I got on Amazon for about ten dollars. Just a bunch of different buttons. Not exactly what I call perfect, for, but they're what I want, which is cheap. So you take the little back piece and you poke it through. You take your button and you push. And then you got yourself a button. And now, got myself some functioning jeans again. It's beautiful. in the back and hopefully that won't pull through again the big reason why I'm showing this is because after I did the uh, button I later uh, the button fell through and uh, ripped back through the uh, the jeans so I installed a washer so now I'll show you uh, what to do. I also came up with a better way of installing the the, uh, the button. So what you do is you take your little thing, you put your washer on, make sure you feel, make sure there's, there's usually a nice soft side and a hard side on a button, or on a washer, sorry. Put that down, put it through your jeans. See it's poking out there. And you take your new thing. I chose this nice copper looking one. And you take a pair of channel locks. So these pliers won't open up big enough. These ones open up nice and big. And you use that. And they squeeze that together until it's nice and tight. And then boom, it's all done. So I use this washer plus this button. And we've got a nice, nice new button on there. Hopefully that'll last for a long time. Hey, hope you found this video useful. If you did, hit that like button. And, uh, and if you want uh, to get notified every time I upload a new video, hit subscribe and hit the bell notification. Thanks. Have a nice day.